I have a really exciting video today, so I'm going to do my very first story time. Um, I'm sure everyone, all of my fellow ostomies, have had like kind of an ostomy horror story where you couldn't really get out of it and it was really awkward and the bag either like blew off or, you know, started to leak or something like that um, in public. So yeah, stick around because I have a pretty fun one for you guys today. It was my first day of classes, and my very first class of the day was genetics. I was, you know, excited to see my friends again. We all sat together. Um, I was in the front row. I love that. <laughs> and uh, we were about halfway through the class when the teacher administered like this pop quiz. I know, first day back and already a pop quiz. It was a strange day. Um, so I, you know, was in the middle of this pop quiz and I started to feel moisture around my stoma. And not like the normal amount of moisture that you kind of expect. My fellow ostomates will understand that when you start to feel like any kind of wetness in your abdomen, you gotta run to the nearest bathroom. Uh, unfortunately, the nearest bathroom was like a whole freaking floor up. So I didn't really have like the chance to go. I couldn't get out of the quiz. So I was just sitting there kind of deer in headlights. Okay, let me finish this quiz. Let this class end and then I will bolt. So that's exactly what I did. I finished the quiz finished the class, walked out, and some of my friends I was sitting with were like, hey, we're going to Starbucks, you want to come with us? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't, like I have to go home. Um, so I felt bad, but I was like, please don't look too hard at my black pants because it was like hard to kind of tell, but one of the pant legs was absolutely drenched in stool. At the time, my mom was being kind enough to drive me back and forth to my classes because she knew I was having these prolapses and I was still in pain and I was still recovering from the surgery and she wanted to make sure that it was easy for me because normally I would walk to school. Um, I live pretty close. So she was driving me and I was waiting for her to come and I called her up I'm like, Mom, where are you? I need you here. <laughs> and she's like, I'm like two minutes away. What? And I said, my bag ruptured. It blew off. We have a total meltdown. Please come ASAP. So I'm sure that my mom like absolutely broke some traffic laws getting there, but she got there super quickly and she got me in the car and we went home. I changed my bag, but oh my gosh, I will never forget the sheer panic that I felt sitting there in the middle of a genetics class feeling like, oh my gosh, my bag just came off. <laughs> uh, so with all that being said, um, a tip that I would give to ostomates who want to avoid like uh, catastrophic bag uh, blowouts is y you're never going to be able to like never have a problem with your bag. I don't, I've never met an ostomy who hasn't had at least one experience where their bag, uh, you know, the seal wasn't great or something along those lines. But just be sure to bring an extra bag. I always keep one or two in my purse. Something really, really helpful to have, maybe even more helpful than a bag itself, are barrier strips. Uh, I think Hollister makes them, um, most brands actually make them, uh, but I like the Coloplast. The reason is that I have sensitive skin and I find that the coloplast is a little bit easier to take on and off and leaves less redness and irritation and bumpiness than the Hollister brand, um, but that's all personal preference. So basically what you're going to want to do with these guys is peel off the back and then mine have... Um, little pieces of plastic here so you can attach a belt, but I'm going to pull those aside. I'm going to place this along the uh, circumference of my bag, get that on there nicely, and make sure you get a tight seal along the bottom and just rub that on. And one thing that I find really helpful is holding it because um, this is something my ostomy nurse told me. She said that if you hold these down since they're silicone, you'll get a better seal if it has some heat. Um, exposure and there's some heat placed on it. So yeah, 
that's one of my little tips uh, based on a pretty negative experience. Um, I haven't had many more experiences like that in public, but it's certainly been a little bit tough just to make sure that I always get the right seal and I'm always super prepared for a long class um, and sitting through it. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have been through in terms of like bag rupture horror stories. Um, I'm sure that there are some pretty wild ones out there. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. It was pretty fun opening up about this experience because I, like I said, I was at the time <laughs> terrified and I didn't really have anyone in my friend group around me to be like, you got an extra bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, please let me know what you guys think and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.